Ethan Hawke, welcome back to the show. Thanks for having uh, me, man. We love you. Thank you for doing that bit. Man, you can sing. You did yeah. Willie Nelson. Come yeah, on, yeah. baby. <laughs> that was what I'm talking about. And that was, that was Ben Dickey. Ben Dickey is the star of Blaze and Charlie Sexton, who Charlie plays Towns Sexton. Van Zandt in the movie. Dude, that was fantastic. Yeah. That was so much fun to play with you. Thank you for well, doing I've that. I've never done a bit like that. I'm all nervous. It was really <laughs> fun, man. I really am. I love like, seeing you nervous. It was I great. I feel like I've been shot out of a cannon. Oh, man. But is it true that, that Willie Nelson was your first concert ever? My first concert, 1976. My dad drives me from Fort Worth to Austin in a 1976 Plymouth Barracuda. Wow. We got... We got Iron On shirts, Green Hawk, and Black Hawk. Uh, now, I don't know, we wanted Willie to recognize us. Yeah. And uh, we sat in the back of the trunk and, uh, you know, watched the show. And I've been obsessed with Outlaw Country ever since. Really? Yeah. I mean, uh, I, did, you ever, did you ever get to meet Willie? Or? Well, believe it or not, a few years ago, I got to bring my dad to see Willie Nelson here in New York. We wait got a him. second. How yeah, great is that, dude? Start. Wait, wait, don't applaud yet. Don't applaud yet. We got, because through a friend of a friend of a friend of a friend, I got invited back on the bus, and my dad and I walked on, and we got to meet Willie. And my dad was very sweet. He said, uh, you know, he told Willie how much his music had meant to him, and Willie was very sweet back, and offered us a hit off his joint, you know? <laughs> Right? Yeah. And, and my dad and I each like looked at each other like, are you going to do this? Uh, are you, are you gonna do and we both said, no, 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 thank you, Mr. Nielsen. And, and, and we walked out, and my dad said, it's very surprising, because my dad's a very serious man, an yeah. actuary. And he said, you know, maybe we should have taken a hit of that joint. <laughs> and, and, and I said, I know. I, I felt like I didn't want to do it because you were here. And he's like, I didn't want to do it because I wanted to be a good father. And I said, <laughs> oh, jeez, you know, missed opportunity, right? Yeah. Well, lo and behold, a few years after that, I'm doing a play with an actor who knows Willie, and Willie's coming to see the show, and I told her the story about us missing this opportunity. Willie comes backstage, he meets me, and he goes like this, he goes like this, slips a joint in my hand and says, say hi to your dad. <laughs> <laughs> How much do you love Willie Nelson to say hi to your dad? I know. I know. Yes! I know. I know. Redemption! <laughs> uh, uh, I gotta say, uh, I just watched the movie Blaze. I'm holding up the vinyl because I'm just so psyched that you have a soundtrack on vinyl, which no one does. It's, it's so good, too. It's pretty rad. This movie is, uh, it's fantastic, dude. I, Thank I, you, Jimmy. I, 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 I'm sorry to keep calling you dude. Uh, I just get it's so... It's okay, dude. All right, dude. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's just that joint just put yeah, me in that. Right, we're both dude, in that space. Dude, Blaze, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, <laughs> but it's not about that Blaze. It's a different... It's about Blaze Foley, singer-songwriter who was shot and killed in 1989. And what the movie really centers around is, A, his music, and B, his love story. He fell in love in a treehouse with this woman, Sybil Rosen. She wrote a memoir called Living in the Woods in a Tree, right? And this book is so, it's so powerful. Did you know his music? I knew it... Okay, so Ben who's the star of the movie. He's a musician that I've been following for years, and I kept waiting. I just, you know when you meet somebody, you're like, oh, this guy's gonna break and be huge. Yeah. And I started realizing that a lot of his story is Blaze's story, and he's, he's from Arkansas. He's, uh, the blues and folk music means a lot to Ben, and I knew that if I gave him an opportunity to play this part, he would repay me tenfold, and he did. It's well played by everyone. Uh, uh, Alia Shawkat. She's wonderful. Fantastic. Yeah. And then uh, I saw Richard Linklater in there. Yes, right. Who uh, I know is a, I, a friend of yours of a great well, director. Well, he directed me in Boyhood, the Before Trilogy. Before Sunrise. Oh, I mean, uh, yeah, the guy's yeah. a genius. No, yeah. man, he's the best. But he's, I've never seen him act. I know, it's fun to get him in front of the camera. Were you nervous directing him? I wasn't until it started. You know, like I had, oh, Rick, because I, I love Rick. And I was like, oh, come on down, you'll be in the movie, it'll be really fun. And then all of a sudden, we're shooting, and he starts asking questions about how I'm handling everything. And all of a sudden, I felt like, I don't know, like a sophomore in high school, or was <laughs> like <laughs> pretending to be director. Yeah. You know? But I, the, I had one of my favorite moments in the whole shoot was we were doing a scene with Ben, and, you know, who's playing Blaze, and he was doing this scene where he gets beat up and then has to go play a song. And I'm watching the scene, I'm watching the scene, and I look over, and I see Rick just hypnotized, staring at Ben's performance. And I looked over, and I said, cut, and he went. Oh, see, no, that's, 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 then like, you go, right, that's uh, enough. You can leave now. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, Get out of here now. Uh, yeah, here go. He gave me the thumbs up. Don't watch up, me like, blow it. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. Uh, when do you watch this movie, I'm, and I say this in the best way, you can almost smell beer coming out of it. <laughs> yeah. it, is so, it is so, like, get into that, like, 
d d dive bar uh, and these gigs that he's playing these gigs and he would get thrown out of these bars. Yeah. And he was never allowed to play these big uh, arenas or anything. Most biopics are just about people who are famous, right? Yeah. And so the movie ends up being about the trials of celebrity or something. Whereas most of the musicians I've met in my life have been met with an extreme amount of in indifference, like a lot of artists. And so by telling Blaze Foley's story, we're allowed to tell the story of an artist who's really fighting and keeps fighting and keeps fighting without getting a lot of the superficial paybacks that, you know, Ugh. the normal biopics And the deal. songs are beautiful. Oh my gosh. I, 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 I can't even tell you enough to just stream the uh, soundtrack mm -hmm. on Spotify or buy the vinyl and just let it crackle and listen to it. It is beautiful.